Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use Nandrobo. This video is part of a video series on sexual problems and if you're looking for more of these videos then check out the playlist in the description. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. The generic name of this medication is Nandrolone, but is also sold under the brand name Decadurabella. And it's available as an injection. Which brings us to the question, how should you use Nandrolone? It can only be used as an injection and it should be injected deep into a muscle, usually your buttock or your thigh muscle. And if you're giving this injection to yourself, your doctor will instruct you exactly how to do it. Now, nandrolone is an androgen, which is a steroid hormone, which can be used in several indications. It can be used to treat severe osteoporosis, which is the loss of bone mass, mostly seen in women in their late menopause. It can be used to treat anemia and chronic renal failure, which is a low red blood cell count. And lastly, it can be used to treat an aplastic anemia. This is a specific type of anemia. And what dosage should you use? Let me first say you should always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you. I will just provide you with some guidelines here. And secondly, the dosage always depends on your indication of use. When you're using Nandrolone to treat osteoporosis, the dosage would be 50 milligrams once every three weeks. For anemia and chronic renal failure, it's 100 milligrams once a week in women and 200 milligrams once a week in men. And when treating a plastic anemia, the dosage is 50 to 100 milligrams once a week. Now, Nandrolone is a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can have several side effects. I will just name a few common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. Generally, it causes fluid retention, an increased libido, high blood pressure, nausea, acne, itching, a rash, and injection side reactions like pain or swelling. In women, it can cause symptoms of virilization, which means you can become more manly. And these can be irreversible, such as the deepening of your voice, growth of a beard, increased body hair, and enlargement of your clitoris. In men, it can cause prosthetic enlargement and a decrease in your total sperm count. Considering safety, Nandrolone is safe to combine with any type of food and you can combine it with alcohol. However, be careful when driving as it can cause dizziness. If you're experiencing this, then please do not drive. Furthermore, Nandrolone can also have some interactions with other drugs which can be dangerous. So always discuss this with your prescribing doctor too. And as always, we end off by taking a look at pregnancy and lactation. And in both cases, Nandrolone can be dangerous. So please always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use Nandrolone, as this was the whole point of this video. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or somewhere up there. Furthermore, I want to thank all my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter. And thank all of you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and you can help me with that as well. And just to give you a little insight in my YouTube statistics, just 0.9% of my viewers is subscribed, and we can do a whole lot better. So, prove me right. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Till then, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.